Okay, time for a quick update. Um, I'm in kind of in the deep in the middle of things here, as you can see, but uh, I am starting to connect. I've got myself my grounding bus bar across here. Uh, I've connected in some shielded wire for the two inputs. Uh, well, the one input, and this is the return from the volume box to the second triode. This is the second input. Uh, those will fit underneath the board. There will be another couple of those that come just right to the board up here later when the board's dropped in. I've wired in my um, uh, <coughs> output transformer switch here so that it goes between the different impedances. Uh, I do have a small tur uh, uh, turret strip, not turret strip. Um, oh, drawing a whole blank. Anyway, the, these little eyelets can be then wired in um, to something. I'm going to run my... These will be like, this is the AC coming from here into the board above that has the filtering. And then I will just wire these uh, AC wirings that come from the transformer to that same spot as well. Uh, I'll do similar thing with the um, the choke. I will send the choke one to each two points there as well. Uh, and something something like that I think is the, the general plan I'm going to be working on. There. That'll be just a nice binding point that if for some reason somebody needs to come back later swap out the transformer or other things they can just quickly desolder the wires or if they needed to take off that top board for some reason they can desolder the wires there and pull it up etc so these are all the other kind of connections that go still to the uh different points of the b plus rail and then i've got my bias board here i've wired up right now my um main power inlet i've got an earth connection that comes down and is screwed to the chassis in an isolated space and then i've got my neutral wire going directly in but the hot wire goes to the fuse from the fuse to the switch and from the switch into the transformer so that way uh you know the fuse if you hit it on and there's an inrush current it will you know blow out hopefully and, and save your transformer but um that's where i'm at now i'll come back in a little bit it's got a few more things to finish up one of them is going to be i need to um connect my wires for the power tra or for the output transformer that come from here down and then go out to the, the to this other side but what i will need with that is I'm going to have uh, these wires a bit long. I've learned this the hard way in the past. You always want these a little extra long because you could have the phase backwards and need to swap them out. Looks like I'm getting a huge amount of light coming in. Sorry. Um, I had it set for a minute ago and then the clouds started to clear, so it's getting pretty bright. Let me try and adjust that. Oh, and as I say so, the, then the clouds start going away. Um, or start coming back in. But basically, the... Um, that allows you to figure out whether your phase is right or wrong and swap them out and then you can once you get it right and you've powered it on and it's working you're able to quickly effectively remove if you need to swap them remove them but then cut them to length and if not if it works then you just desolder them quickly cut them to length and then solder them in so always give yourself some extra room on those those wires so that you don't end up accidentally making one a little too short enough to make a quick jump around to it so i've got my one ohm resistors to ground from pin eight uh, ready for that uh, you know if you've noticed i haven't done heaters yet i'm actually planning on doing the kind of fender saw on this one where they come down from above so i figure i can wait to do those until uh a little bit later i might still get them before i put the board in though but we'll see because i don't know if i want to fight them when i'm trying to put the leads in oh it looks like now i'm getting heavy clouds and we're underexposed thank you weather for making this fun let's try and dial it up a little bit there we go that's a little bit better so basically i do have my some of my connections started to come up on the front as well I've got my bright switch connected there. Uh, I do not yet have the rock jazz switch uh, or mid boost. I'm not sure. I've called it rock jazz on the board, and we were talking about that on the forums. Some say it might be kind of like a rock jazz switch. Others say it might be kind of a mid boost. We'll see how it turns out. But uh, so everything is getting uh, well dialed in the chassis, and then I will be dropping the board in once I can get a few more of these the basic things set up first, and then we'll be good to go. I'll try and bring you back right before I drop the board in, and then after I drop the board in. So thanks. All right, so I've got a little bit more progress done today. Uh, I've gotten all of these wirings, like these are the AC volt wiring coming in here. I've got the chokes entry point that comes in from here that also connects to the um, main B plus one and the B plus two of the output of the choke comes across over to here. So that B plus one wire is the one that kind of comes in and goes through here. Um, the I started hooking up some of the heaters. I also hooked up the main connections for the power tubes. I've got my 470 ohm 1k resistors here and here i've got some 220k resistors here and here um and let's see i also have kind of connected in and run the wires but haven't soldered them yet for my uh power led on the front of the uh the amp i did connect in the the 47 picofarad capacitor and the 100k resistor and then this uh i think it's 0 0.0047 capacitor that goes into this switch here 
Uh, and then I also I just soldered everything of those two, so I ran the lead that came across over to the treble pot. I'm not going to wire the whole thing here, but just since I was there, I figured I'd get that. And uh, it's coming along. So these are my main uh, other, I think, what, there's four wires there. One of them is going to be B plus 3, B plus 4, and B plus 5. Well, that's three, so I've got, I'm going to have to figure that out. What's my other one? Um, but at any rate, um, one of those will make sense to me in a bit. I'll have to check on that. But uh, yeah, so there we have it. We're making good headway. I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to ground my um, uh, heaters or not because I could do the 100 ohm ta uh, to ground or I could, uh, you know, ground the center tap. And, uh, you know, I think it's kind of six of one, half a dozen the other. I've heard some people say that the resistors are nicer because they, the virtual center tap creates a little bit more of the ability to balance that better than the, if the center tap's not dead center. And if you have well-balanced resistors or pretty closely balanced resistors and the center tap's off, there's a little bit more hum than you can, you, or you could even use a hum balance pot, et cetera. So at any rate, I'll, uh, I'll sort that out. I'll figure it out between now and then. So, but yeah, we've gotten quite a bit more inside of the chassis is now wired up. We're getting close to where I'll be able to drop in the, uh, the, uh, board and then finalize that wiring as well. So there you have it. All right, everybody, we have the amp put together, complete and ready to go. Of course, I'm going to be doing my typical testing and checking to look through things and make sure they are as I expected them to be. There was a couple of minor things I noticed that I did a boo-boo on. I had tied my ground between here and here with a one point, I think it was 1.8K resistor or 4.8K resistor. Uh, sorry, not between here and here. Uh, what was it? Between the this part right here and there. I was going to run it across there, but then I realized this is, needs to be on a separate ground, which is here. So it's possibly not visible, but I have that resistor directly to the ground connection here through the wire up into there. So I fixed that that way. Also, I had not really given myself a lug to ground my whatever the ground was here, 4.8 or 1.8K to ground from the base pot on this end. So I just have a resistor there with a wire coming over and connected to the ground there. I am a little bit concerned about how close the uh, wires are here for the output transformer to this part of, this is the phase inverter. So it's a pretty high current part of the circuit. So it probably is gonna be okay. You know, high, um, high, high amplitude, high current compared to the preamp section. So I think we'll be okay, we'll see. But the wires kind of come off of those two parts straight across over here. So. Um, all in all, though, everything else is looking good and connected and done, ready to go. So I will go through with my, my layout and my schematic and just kind of double check that it looks like I have everything run, run correctly, connected, soldered. And once that's done, we'll do a power up. So there you have it for now.